Happy Friday, I'm Trace and welcome to This Week in Discovery News. Each week we recap the top science stories of the last seven days as voted upon by you, our readers. Make sure that you keep an eye on the social media ticker at the bottom of the screen for your comments. Our first story is... Stolen NASA laptop had space station control codes. As we all know, leaving a laptop out unattended is just asking for trouble. Hey, what's up? Have you uh, ever you ever heard of the International Space Station? I got this laptop right here. Yeah. I can control it. That's yeah, I know. That's really impressive. I know, it's pretty awesome. It turns out rocket scientists might not be the best at computer security. NASA told Congress they had 5,408 computer security lapses in the last two years, including a laptop that was lost that had the security codes and algorithms to control the International Space Station. Oops. Plus, when a laptop goes missing, NASA expects the employee to remember everything that was on their computer. I thought that's what computers were for. Needless to say, we wanted to know if they could use that laptop to actually control the ISS. It turns out they can't, so that's a relief. And that's good because our next story is, can anger and stress kill? This week, 43-year-old Andrew Breitbart died of a heart attack, and we wondered if anger and stress and his bombastic personality may have contributed to his health issues and his untimely death. It turns out that stress can kill you. When your body is under stress, it reacts as if it's under attack. You release a lot of adrenaline, and then your engine gets going, and then you get all excited, and then it's like, your body is all like, go, 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 and your mind is like, stop, 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 and you can't just do both. <laughs> the point is that stress may not be good for you, and while it is a normal part of life, it's important to manage it wisely and get outside and enjoy nature, just like the kid in our next story. The politics of Dr. Seuss. The Lorax hits the silver screen this weekend, and in case you weren't paying attention when your mama was reading you a bedtime story, Dr. Seuss's books are chock full of politics. His most famously political book was the Butter Battle Book, which I actually read when I was a kid. It was about two societies, the Ukes and the Zooks, one buttered their bread on the top and the other on the bottom. It was an allegory for the Cold War, and it actually ended with the two societies battling on top of a wall. Sound a little familiar? Dr. Seuss has always been political, with Yertle the Turtle talking about the dictatorial rise to power, with the Lorax talking about environmentalism, and with Oh the Places You'll Go talking about the backpackers that like to smell up European hostels. Regardless of your political persuasion, make sure that you manage your stress, and if you see a laptop with the NASA logo on it that may be logged into what looks like a cool space station simulator, just don't touch it. Just no touch. Leave it alone. So that's it for me. Thanks for tuning in to This Week in Discovery News. Make sure that you like us on Facebook, you follow us on Twitter at discovery underscore news, and that you subscribe to our Discovery Daily Newsletter, which you can do at discoverynews.com. Have a great week, and we'll see you next time. Needless to say, we wanted to know... <laughs> Needless to say... The best noise ever! We'll come back to this. Take 55. Needless to say, the battery said it had 80 minutes left. Uh... <laughs>